This is kind of a weird thing. Um, I'm going through my music library that I had under here. <laughs> um, and I found my very first lesson book that I think my mom bought me. I still have the CD, too. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just really weird. Like, looking back on this, it wasn't anything real, like, technical or anything. Obviously, it's just enough just to get somebody started with music, piano playing. Um, I really don't remember much other than the images, um, different hand positions. <laughs> I like this figure, how not to have your fingers. <laughs> Um, and then they got a whole bunch of these little songs that, if I remember correctly, the CD actually had, like, um, accompaniment tracks. So you could, like, play through the songs. Um, they got things like, um, I don't know, Joy to the World, America, songs that are easy to play in. Uh, simple keys. Um, a little bit of finger exercise. I don't know if they really talk much about like how to do like wrist rotation and arm drops and things like that. I don't think that was in there. Uh, this section I remember always dreading because it dealt with sight reading and obviously if you can't read the notes or if you can't see the notes, you're going to have a hard time reading. <laughs> uh, just like with print. If you can't see the print, then you're not going to be able to read it too well. Um, chords. I remember like reading this, but I didn't understand what they were. Like All I knew is that they were just a cluster of notes. But this early I didn't understand like the theory behind everything um what is that a few simple pieces so I think this is when they started to introduce the CD that looks like a couple pages there arpeggios I was never really good at these because <laughs> I didn't know the proper hand movements and stuff so I didn't really bother with them I think there's scales in here too. Um, yeah, there's some pentatonic scales. Um, but yeah, this is like really interesting. Going through this, yeah, here's a section on scales. Um, so, and I had an idea, like, at this point, I knew key signatures, like, I could read, like, I could look at key signatures and say this is in the key of G flat or this is in the key of C sharp or something, um, but I didn't understand, like, what scales were, what arpeggios were, technical things like that like how they were important and things like that um and little epilogue a little spot where the cd was i got the cd in a in a um case with a bunch of other cds because i don't this is a very flimsy book so it's like cds can easily get broken um, I actually had that happen. One of a move I had, the people that moved were not moving the boxes and stuff. Um, not horribly careful. But yeah, this is, I'm just curious. When was the copyright? I'm always interested in to know when these books are copyrighted. Um... Where is it? Hold on, let me find it. Okay, so I found it. Um, 
I just bring it. Oh, let me just bring the book closer. It's on the first page. Well, I saw it. There it is. 1997 was when this book was copyrighted. Um, and there's all your spiel there. But yeah, this is my very first piano lesson book, I guess you could say, is like self-teaching. Somewhere, um, I think it's over here because this is where all my scales and technique books are. Somewhere I have, um... That this is a book they use at university. I never studied from it because I didn't take the class, but I should have. <laughs> um, where is it? Is that it? Nope. <laughs> Music Sudoku. That's kind of fun. Some of these I picked up at um, a music shop when I was in Madison. Oh, here it is. Um... So this is a book of chords and scales. Um, so this is another book that I got when I was like young. <laughs> and it too had came with a CD. <laughs> and I still have that too. I'm very careful with um with my books. Uh but this is a pretty neat book because um Curiosity wants to see when this is copyrighted again. Hal Leonard, right? Yeah. That's a Hal Leonard book. Big music company publishing house for music in this country. Where is... Does this book not have a copyright? It'd be kind of funny if it doesn't. Oh, wait, let's see what's down here. Um, no part. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Copyright 1997. Look at there. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> um, in 1997, I was in um, junior high school at that time. Um, our schooling was... I personally believe it was much better labeled as far as years. Um, I really don't like the term middle school because it's kind of like you're not in any schooling. You're not in elementary, but you're not in senior high. Junior high, it's kind of like, yes, I'm out of that elementary stage. Now I'm go I'm I'm moving my way up into the junior high and then after junior high you had senior high um but yeah nowadays they totally cut out junior high which is a bummer um but this book basically has a bunch of like things on how to build chords um which is what a lot of this front matter is it talks about what chords are and how they're built they've got some symbols which most of this stuff was like way over my head, but um, it was more or less like a reference book, I think. Um, and then here they have the chords. I'll just show it in the key of C major. So they have the chords laid out on the keyboard. Well, that's in the key of A. Where's C? B, D, here's C. Okay, so here they... They have the chords on the keyboard and they have them shaded in with the little letters uh, so that you could just look at the image and see what the how to make that chord. Um, and then they have, uh, I believe they have the different inversions. So this is root, then they have first inversion, second inversion. Um, and these are just your standard three note chords. Um, yeah. And I think, I mean, obviously they have other chords in here, but it's just figuring out where they are. And I haven't used this book in forever. So they do have the augmented chord. Uh, that, okay. So they got the minor. 
So it looks like they might have it broken up by two page spreads. They got the major. And then there's the minor chords. And then they have the augmented, which I would teach the major and then the augmented, and then I would do the minor. I would kind of use major as the home base and then your diminished chord. That's my cat playing with a pop top water bottle lid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh it's like really early right now and then they have suspended cords so they do have more advanced cords in here and somewhere in here um let's see what are these these are seven flatted fifths cords which Again, a lot of this stuff was like Greek to me because I didn't understand the theory. Um, and in the back of the book, they have um, scales. So here's the last, let's see what this last chord is. These are minor 11ths. Look at that. <laughs> um, so yeah. A lot of these I didn't really understand. Then they have scales. Talk about how to build scales. Um, and then they have all the scales listed out here. This section I think I did use because I have writing in here. Let's see. So this is the major scales. Yeah, so I got... I don't know what that is. Seventh tone half. And <laughs> I totally, yeah. Um, so this looks like something I did try to work on. Flat natural. Um, these ba the flat naturals basically told me what color key, what position on the key I was starting on. Like that sharp, it's starting on a C sharp. So it just told me sharp, I'm working with a black key. Um, so, yeah, there's some notes in here that I actually, uh, worked through some of these, or <clears throat> at least gave it a shot back at, back in the day before I really knew what I was getting into. Um, I'm not sure what else is in here. Um, so these are your minor scales. Uh, looks like they're using harmonic minor. No, these are natural minor. So these are my little notes again. Fifth tone, half step. I don't know what that F is for. Oh, that's a F on half. I've really, I had really messy handwriting. I still have messy handwriting. Um, let me see. So over. Okay, so these are the, <clears throat> these are natural minor. So they probably do have the different forms of minor, harmonic minor. Yeah. So this is natural minor. This is a harmonic minor. Um, and again, I had an idea kind of of what they like sounded like, but theoretically I didn't understand anything. Uh, melodic minor. And I don't know. I don't think I did these. I don't have any notes on them. Let's see. Did I work on the... Nope. I didn't do those. So I must have just stuck with the natural minor because it didn't <clears throat> have any keychain or accidentals. Uh, blue scales. Oh, wow. I have the blue scales in here. That's cool. <clears throat> Kitty, are you stuck? You can't tell me you can't jump over that. <laughs> you can jump over that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cat, you're funny. Um, modes. 
talking all about modes. Um, at the time, it was more Greek to me, but <clears throat> now that I'm doing um, Gregorian chant and like have theory, I better understand what those are. Jam sessions. Uh, so this is like song tracks. The CD had tr song tracks and you could like play around with these chords. <clears throat> Most of this I'd usually just memorize <laughs> because I couldn't read them. <clears throat> so yeah, these are my first two like music books. Like when I first started teaching, which is or when I first started learning, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I was kind of shocked that I still have them. <laughs> so, um, if anybody wants me to go through these, um, I can do that. I have a lot of books. I have, these are most of, like, these are all, like, technique and etudes and things. And then I have a whole nother shelf over there that has a whole bunch of theory, university books, and reading books. <clears throat> One of these days, I'd like to go through and do books, like, books that I really enjoyed reading that deal with music, but they're not, like, music, like, notation books, but they talk about music. Um, that's on my projects to, to do, because I, I, I love watching people do book reviews, like, going through what books they have and what they recommend, and, um, you know, their own memories of different books and things. Um, I have no idea if these books are still available on the internet, but <laughs> if they are, I'll, I'll put them in the description box. <laughs> but yeah, um, these are pretty good about just getting somebody started, just getting the bare bone basics, but you're not going to learn like wrist rotation, uh, you know, things like that. Um, so, but there are some books in this collection that actually does talk about that stuff. Uh, so I could, um, look at those when and if I get to that point. But yeah, just, you know, I don't know. <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to go back to putting this stuff away and figuring out what I have. Talk to you later. Bye.